another video from Shepherd Song Farm, bringing you the finest in lamb and goat meat from a small family-run operation in Wisconsin. Today, we're talking about lamb and goat brains, how to get them out of the skull, and how to cook with them. A lot of people around the world eat lamb and goat brains, and I can tell you they're absolutely delicious. The first thing you're gonna need though is you gotta figure out a way to cut open a skull. So what I like to do is I get a cinder block that I have cleaned and I reserve specifically for this purpose. And I do it outside because it can get, it would be a little tricky to do in a kitchen. And you just wanna have some way to keep the head really steady because we're gonna need a reciprocating saw. You can do it with a handsaw, but a reciprocating saw is a lot easier. There's even ones you can use one-handed. You can also get a meat blade, and the meat blade is specifically designed for cutting open things like this. Uh, we can link to that in the comments along with some of the recipes. You just cut the head in half. It'll take a little time. And I don't cut the whole thing in half. I like to kind of butterfly it here, you're going to see. And I use a heavy cleaver to split it and crack it in half. And then what you're going to have is a butterflied head. Now I bring it back to the kitchen, and this part's pretty self-explanatory. I also wipe the area the saw touched clean just to make sure there's no bone fragments or anything, because those will be a little crunchy. And you want to gingerly just scoop the brains out, and then, of course, you're going to save that head to roast and make delicious soup. Uh, don't forget the tongue. There's all kinds of fun things that you can do with goat and lamb heads. They're really good. Now the fun part, cooking. So usually brains are soaked and par-cooked, and that is how I prefer to do it. First thing I do is soak the brains. That's going to remove some blood and make it so they're not going to discolor and turn gray when they're cooked. You can just do that overnight. Then I cook them in water with salt, bay leaves, and a little lemon, and they're going to shrink up and then you just cut them into pieces and this is where the fun part is. Here's some fritters made with gruyere and fried sage and lemon. No one would know that they were eating brains. Uh, the French make a little egg salad out of them and probably my favorite are Moroccan lamb brains with harissa and tomato. And you can see more stuff like this and order your own from shepherdsongfarm.com and this is narrated by me, Chef Alan Burgo. Thanks for watching.